What's up everybody, my name is Evan Rogers and I'm here in Chelsea in New York City to check out Nikon's new mirrorless cameras. Right off the bat, this bad boy has a 45.7 megapixel full frame sensor. This is also the introduction of a new line of lenses and lens mounts for Nikon. So this is the new Z mount and they've got a number of new lenses in the pipeline and we've got two lenses right here. The Z7 does come with a lot of the premium features that you'd find on other high-end cameras like 5-axis image stabilization and an electronic viewfinder that covers 100% of the range. These are, this is a pretty big change for Nikon because traditionally they've been a DSLR company which means there's actually a mirror inside and that works in conjunction with the viewfinder. So this, this sort of uh, mirrorless setup with the electronic viewfinder is a big departure. Physically, the Z7 is uh, pretty much the same size as a mirrorless Sony, like, a, like an A7. Um, if you're used to Nikon, uh, it's gonna be a lot smaller than Nikon's range. And physically, the Z7 is about the same size as a Sony Alpha. Um, it's a little bit smaller than um, Nikon and Canon's DSLR line. It also includes weather sealing and a magnesium body, so uh, given the price range of this bad boy right here, you're getting a lot of the pro-level features that you might expect in a higher-end Nikon or a higher-end Canon. On the top, Nikon is giving us a mode selection dial and a selection dial. On the back, we have a tilting screen. Uh, it is a touch screen. It does look really good, but unfortunately for you pro-level vloggers out there, it does not articulate. You will not be able to swing it to the front and see it, so I'm sorry about that. On the left-hand side, we have a full selection of ports, including a headphone jack for monitoring and, of course, a microphone jack for your mics. We've also got a USB-C port, a remote port, and an HDMI port, and I'm super glad to see USB-C making it into cameras right now. Let's talk about video for a second. So the Z7 is gonna give you 4K at 30. Um, unfortunately, it is a uh, sensor crop to APS-C size that's very similar to the Sony a7 III, but on the Nikon Z6, you will actually get the full read. So it does, depending on what you're doing, you might wanna look at the different models here. You will also, on the Z7, get 120 frames per second recording uh, 1080p with sound. So if you wanna do some more versatile slow-mo, you can do that. From the brief hands-on time that I've had with the Z7, it does feel really good in the hand. It's got a very meaty grip, but the camera is very small, so you're not sacrificing a lot of ergonomics. The Z7 is arriving in September for around $3,400 for the body only. Um, if you want the 24 to 70 that it comes along with, that's gonna be $4,000 for the kit altogether. Now, will the Z7 sort of fit into the market where Sony has kind of gotten a foothold with the A-Series, we won't know until our full review. So that's it for the Z7 today. If you want to find out more, check out the write-ups we've got on the site. And if you want even more technology hands-ons and reviews, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button if you're out there using a Nikon right now, and let us know what you want in a mirrorless Nikon. Thanks.